Hello everyone, Andrew from Andrew's Tech Corner here. Now I did some uh, searching on YouTube and I haven't found any videos that have to do with Log4j uh, vulnerability for vCenter. So I decided to make a small video just to show you how we can accomplish this task. Now, uh, I'll link this in the description. It's the steps that you can do for the workaround. It's a workaround, it's not a patch, it's just a workaround until uh, VMware comes up with the an official update. So let's uh, get started. You will need to have two tools available. One is WinSCP and the other is PuTTY. I don't know what you call it, PuTTY, PuTTY, whatever. And uh, yeah, first step, log into your vCenter server management. Go to access, edit, and enable bash shell. Put a timer here, whatever you want, 200 minutes or 100, whatever. Press OK. And the next step is to download the Python script. Download the script, press it here. Again, I have the link in the description. Download it in your downloads folder. Open WinSCP, create a new connection, SFTP, put your IP of your vCenter. And one thing you have to change is disable optimized connection buffer and add this to your SFTP server text box here. Okay, I'll add this to the uh, description as well. So you have to look for it or type it off the screen, save and log in. Continue, wait for it to log in and that's it, we're in you will have to go to your temp folder on the root of your uh, vCenter, open that. This is the script, upload, okay. And that's done. You can close this now if you want. Next step will be to go to party connect to your vCenter. Okay, we're in. Type in shell. Go on and paste this command. Give me one second. Copy and paste this. I'll have this in the description. Enter. And yes to proceed. It's going to do a bunch of stuff. Let's let it finish. I'll fast forward here. As you can see, we successfully completed Remediate all the services. And uh, that's it. As I said before, this is just a workaround for uh, patching up vCenter. Then we will soon have a uh, official update. But till then, uh, this should do. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is for vCenter 7. I'm Pretty sure you'll work with 6.7 as well. Uh, let's see. Yep, 7. 6.7. So it's the same thing. So yeah, that's all from me. This was Andrew. Uh, if you liked the video, click the like and uh, subscribe for more videos in the future. So yeah, peace out.